Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're closing out the fourth week of September and opening up the last week. So without further ado, let's go. As usual, we're gonna start with the expenses. So 44.53 was groceries, 17.12 was spending, 44.82 was dine out, 104 uh, euros and 10 cents was clothing because I bought two new pairs of shoes. 17 was gifts for some flowers 1047 was health for some COVID tests because i did have COVID, but thankfully i'm negative already and it was my first time having COVID, and it's literally been four years since the pandemic so ching finally got it and then 1106 was for travel because i did go to bucharest and that was the last charge that i needed to cover for my travel expenses if you haven't yet seen my travel vlog i posted it E on Wednesday, I believe. So go check it out. And yeah, in total, it was 249 euros and 10 cents for the fourth week of September. So let's go to the expenses and we'll see what we have. So we did have a paycheck of 540 euros and in extra income of 55. So in total, that was 595. Groceries was got all allocated 50 but it has a rollover of five so we actually spent 45 spending has a rollover of one two and three so we actually spent 17 because we had 20 allocated and then dine out has rollover of five as well perfect which means that we spend 45 here as well. So this 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 will go into the miscellaneous. So 5 went into gas, 75 went into rent, 50 in utilities. Miscellaneous, we put 10 and then we're adding this 13. So in total, that's 23. So let me just do that already now so I don't forget. So we're adding... And it should be 258 here now. So let's count, count and see. We have 220, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Yes, 258. Perfect. Great. So that's for miscellaneous. Um, and now let's count the actual amounts. 5023 is 260. So four, 595 minus 260 is 335. And then we can bring it here through our short term sinking funds. We got 30 in beauty, 30 in Christmas, 20 in clothing, 30 in health, 5 in holidays, 10 in subscriptions, and 50 in travel. So in total. That was 175. So 335 minus 175 is 160. So we're bringing that down here to long-term sinking funds. We put five into babies, five into car, 25 in deposit, five into pets, five in retirement, five in technology, and five in weddings. So in total, that was 55. 160 minus 55 is 105 and all of that went into our savings challenges which means we have zero euros and that is good because we are a zero based budget and we, it means that each euro of our income has a place to go into our budget so let's flip through the last week of september and Let's set it up. So our budget is 580 euros for this week. So we're gonna put 50 in groceries, 20 in spending and 50 in dine out. That's what I usually do. I'm gonna put five in gas. I'm gonna put 50 in rent, 50 in utilities and five in miscellaneous. So in total, that's gonna be 230 euros. So 580 minus 230 is 350. Perfect. 
Then we have 350 here in short-term sinking funds. So I'm gonna put 30 in beauty. I'm gonna put 40 in Christmas, which is the last 40 we need to be fully funded for the year. So that's exciting. I'm gonna add 25 in clothing. I'm gonna put 20 in health. I'm gonna put 10 in holidays, which is also, I believe, the last amount we need to be fully funded for the holidays for the year. Then I'm gonna put 10 in subscriptions and 60 into travel. I am going on a trip literally next Friday, so it's a week, and I'm gonna need some money in my travel fund. And then I have another tip at the end of October, so I really need to beat these up. So in total for short-term sinking fund, we put 195, so 350 minus 195 is 155 we have left. We're bringing that down to long-term sinking funds. We're gonna put five into babies, five into car, 25 in deposit, and five in pets, retirement, technology, and weddings each. So that's in total 55 euros. So 155 minus 55, that's easy, that's 100. And we're gonna put that 100 into our savings challenges. Perfect! which means we have zero euros left to budget. And that means that the last paycheck of September is budgeted. So what I'm gonna do is tomorrow, I'm gonna be back with a cash stuffing of this paycheck. And then we have a cash condensing video coming up. We're gonna have a monthly closeout video. And I also plan to film a little uh, travel vlog for when I go to my next trip. I'm not gonna let you know what it is yet, but you're gonna be very excited. And yeah, I'm also in the midst of creating my budgeting book for next year. So I'm gonna show you that when it's ready, hopefully maybe mid-November. What else? I think so far that's all. Yeah, no actual plans other than travel and work. And yeah, let me know down in the comments below if there's anything you wanna see from me more or I'm probably gonna also implement some new changes for the upcoming year. It's crazy how January is gonna be here in the blink of an eye. So I need to start doing that. I'm also already preparing my new envelopes, my new categories, also my new Excel uh, spreadsheet for the next year. So that's super exciting. But yeah, so far um, that's all that I can share. I'll share it with you more if, when I get it. And yeah, so far, so good. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you will be too. And yeah, I wish you a very wonderful day, morning, evening, wherever you are. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.